There was a golden era for sitcoms, with iconic shows like All in the Family, Happy Days, and The Mary Tyler Moore Show grazing our screen. But what about the actors who brought these characters to life? Many have since moved on from the limelight, and you might be surprised to see what they're up to now. Number 1. Ron Howard He's an American director, scriptwriter, and actor, and he started his career as a child actor before he went on to direct movies. From his days as Richie Cunningham in Happy Days to his current stature in Hollywood, Ron Howard has undergone a remarkable transformation. Transitioning from acting to directing, he's emerged as one of the industry's most celebrated filmmakers. With a string of successes including Apollo 13, A Beautiful Mind, and The Da Vinci Code, Howard has established himself as a force to be reckoned with in the world of directing. But after six decades in the industry, you might not recognize the guy. Number 2. Jamie Farr this guy, professionally known as Jamie Farr, is an American comedian and actor who is famous for his role as Corporal Klinger, who kept on trying to get sectioned 8 in the MASH TV series. He would also return to play his character in After MASH, and he had other roles on other TV shows. He also made a name for himself in the world of golf, participating in a number of celebrity tournaments. The guy's 89 now, so he looks quite a bit different. Number 3. Aaron Moran so Aaron is an American actress who came into the spotlight with the portrayal of the character Joni Cunningham in the TV sitcom Happy Days and its subsequent spin-off Joni Loves Chachi. However, her life took a tragic turn after the show ended. She faced personal challenges and financial difficulties which she struggled with over the years. Tragically, she passed away in 2017. Number 4. Bernie Capel. Bernie was an American character actor who was known for his portrayals in iconic TV series. Among his most prominent roles, he's remembered for his portrayal of the memorable character Siegfried in the spy comedy Get Smart, which aired from 1966 to 1969. He also captivated audiences as the lovable Dr. Adam Bricker in the television series The Love Boat, a role he portrayed from 1977 to 1988. However, he's retired from his acting career, and he finds joy in painting and writing. He occasionally makes guest appearances at film conventions, where he shares stories from his time on the high seas. At 90, he doesn't look like he used to. Number 5. John Amos John Amos Jr. is an American actor who gained fame for his roles in TV shows and miniseries. He's also most famous for playing the character Kunta Kinte when he was grown up in the important miniseries Roots. Another well-known role of his was as James Evans Sr. in the TV series Good Times. However, his career has extended far beyond the movies in the 1970s. He continued to act in movies and recently appeared in the popular TV shows like The West Wing and Men of a Certain Age. He's now 84, which means that he might look a little bit different than he used to. Number 6. Suzanne Summers. She was an American actress and author who's known for her portrayal of Chrissy Snow on Three's Company and as Carol Foster Lambert in Step by Step. Beyond her acting career, she also ventured into the world of literature and business. She's also become a household name in the realm of health and wellness. She was an author, entrepreneur, and advocate for alternative medicine, but unfortunately, she died in 2023 at the age of 76. Number 7. Alan Alda Yep, we know the guy, another classic from The MASH Show. Not only did he act in MASH, he also directed and wrote several of the episodes as well. In addition, he received a bunch of awards for his work both in front of and behind the camera. But at 88, he might not look the same way he used to. Let's be real, he looks like he used to. Number 8. Valerie Harper now, Valerie Harper was an American actress who stepped into the spotlight as a dancer on Broadway shows. Her first appearance was as a substitute in the musical called Lil Abner, but most people will remember her as Rada from the Mary Tyler Moore Show and the spin-off Rada. Tragically, her career came to an end due to cancer. She passed away in 2019 at the age of 80. Number 9. Max Gale Maxwell Townbridge Gale Jr. is an American actor who has appeared in various roles on stage, television, and in movies. He's most famous for his character as Detective Stan on the TV show Barney Miller. For this role, he was nominated twice in a row for the Primetime Emmy Award for Outstanding Supporting Actor in a Comedy Series. He also won the Daytime Emmy Award for Best Supporting Actor in 2019 and 2021 for playing Mike Corbin on the soap opera General Hospital. While he hasn't been as active lately, he is still using his platform to speak out and support various social justice causes. But at 80, he might not look the same way he used to. Number 10. Loni Anderson 
Moni Anderson's an American actress who's known for her portrayal of receptionist Jennifer Marlowe in WKRP in Cincinnati. Her performance in this role earned her three Golden Globe Awards and two nominations for an Emmy. She's since halted her career in acting to focus on philanthropy and raising her family. She continues to actively participate in a variety of charitable endeavors, leveraging her celebrity status to bring about positive change in the world. At 78 years old, like you tell all women, she hasn't aged today. Number 11. Robert Galami he was an American actor and singer, and he had a bunch of notable roles in television shows. So as Benson Dubois and Soap and its spinoff Benson, he totally stole a bunch of hearts. He was also the voice of Rafiki from The Lion King. He also played Isaac in Aaron Storkin's comedy drama series Sports Nights. Unfortunately, he passed away in 2017 at the age of 89. Number 12. Jennifer Grey She began her acting career in the movie Reckless. Now she gained a lot of recognition after appearing in the teen comedy film Ferris Bueller's Day Off. Gray then became widely known for her role as Frances Baby Houseman in the romantic drama Dirty Dancing, which led to her receiving a nomination for Golden Globe. She's been in a bunch of other movies, but she underwent several plastic surgeries aimed at advancing her career, which resulted in significant changes in her appearances. This has made her unrecognizable to many. Number 13. J.K. Simmons this guy is an American actor widely regarded as one of the most distinguished character actors of his era. Throughout his career, he's acted in over 200 films and television series. He's known for his role as J. Jonah Jameson in Sam Raimi's Spider-Man trilogy, and like literally every Spider-Man ever, but since time stops for no man, he's put on a couple of years. Not that you could ever really tell with this guy, right? 14. Pamela Anderson here we go with Pam, a blast from the past and every 90 boy's favorite TV actress. Do we really have to say very much about her other than Playboy and Baywatch? I mean, let's be real, her appearance has changed over time, mostly cosmetic and mostly in the chest area, but whew, heartthrob. Hold on, I need to go turn on an air conditioner in here. Number 15, Edward Furlong. So Eddie Boy's got awards like a Saturn and MTV Movie Awards for his big role when he was 13. He played John Connor in the movie Terminator 2 Judgment Day back in 91. Later, he appeared in a short follow-up film called T2 3D Battle Across Time. As he gets older, he looks a little bit different from how he did when he was younger. But since that time thing keeps on marching, it's no surprise. Number 16, Carrie Elvis. I know, I know. Do I really have to say very much about this guy? Let's be real. I could seriously talk about this guy for like ever and Robin Hood, Prince of Thieves and a bazillion other things, but I think I'm going to keep it nice and simple, short and sweet and say, as you wish. 17. Priscilla Presley. Priscilla is a businesswoman and an actress. She was also once married to the man, the king, Elvis Presley. She also helped start and was in charge of the Elvis Presley Enterprises, the company that made Graceland a popular tour spot in the U.S. She also appeared next to Leslie Neeson in the Naked Gun movies. Oh, and she was also in Dallas, but, you know, Naked Gun was way better. As an actress, she was smoking hot. And if you look at her, still is. Man, girl's got it. Number 18. John Travolta. Yeah, we couldn't really cover all the eye candy for the guys and not give some of you ladies some classic John Travolta. Whether we're talking about the boy in the plastic bubble where he got started, whether we're talking about Grease, Urban Cowboy, Blowout, you name it, he's done it. But to us guys, we're always going to remember him for Broken Arrow. That movie was amazing. Anyway, at 70 years old, it could be a little bit challenging to pick him out in a crowd because age has hit him a little harder than other people. But he's still got it.